So Alex O'Connor had this weird take about football. What if your favourite team are playing your enemies and half time comes and due to some freak business deal in half time, every single player on one team is swapped for every single player on the other team. And so everybody comes back on the pitch and they're actually stood on the same side of the pitch because, you know, they've, they've swapped, but now they're stood on the other side. The only difference is that they've changed which T-shirts they're wearing and they go to play football. Who are you cheering for? So the problem with this hypothetical is that you're suspending all the rules that have been set for football for 100 and plus years. Most of the European leagues, uh, as far as I know, there are two transfer windows that are very limited and exchange of players takes place. So if suddenly, out of nowhere, during the half time, two teams change, the only thing that would happen is all the fans would just look at each other and say, what the hell happened? The game will be suspended. The whole footballing world would be suspended. So for this sort of tribalism that we're talking about in football to take place, you have to have certain rules, certain foundations. And if those foundations are gone, well, the whole facade of the uh, tribalism is gone. So it doesn't make sense to say that. It, it, you could use the same argument for nationalism, for anything, for your name, if you don't have your identity all of a sudden, like, who, who are you? Uh, I use an example. I support Arsenal, which is the best team in the world, obviously. Um, but there is a certain attribute to the football club that is Arsenal. Arsenal is famous for playing attacking football, good football. They have certain values of uh, family values, tradition, trying to walk it into the net. In contrast to a team like Stoke City, which I don't know which league they're playing in anymore, not Premier League, thank God. Um, they are known for not playing particularly good football, but giving a hard time to any team that goes to their stadium. They are a proud city and a proud team, and they're happy with who they are. And they don't want to change it. They don't want to suddenly play attacking football. They, they are happy with being sneered at and they love that. Uh, maybe it's not my place to say, but I think they sort of love that, that those soft sovereigners come there and, you know, have their handed to them. Uh, Barcelona has a certain ethos of pl playing good football, buying refs and um, complaining to the ref all the time. Real Madrid has also ethos of buying the best players, firing managers out of nowhere not being very fin financially responsible. Uh, Chelsea has ethos of being um, just plastic. In terms of Man City, they actually don't have any fans. So I guess there are anomaly in football that, you know, they really don't have any real fans. They have some air conditioners though.